One of my favorite type of work in After Effects is creating loopable background. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can really quickly create a loop neon lines background using a particular plugin from Trapcode, all inside of After Effects. My name is George. Welcome to Swintimber Graphics. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That helps me out a lot. I assume you do have a particular plugin installed, so let's jump straight to the tutorial. Let's create a new composition. Name this one Render, click OK. Let's create another composition, name this one Line, click OK. Grab the Pen tool, make sure your fill is set to None and your Stroke is set to a solid color. Give it some width and draw a line like that. A line in the middle, then expand the properties, go to Content, Shape, Stroke and set Line Cap to Round Cap. Okay. Then click this icon here, region of interest, and mask out the space around your line. Then go to composition, drop comp to region of interest. This will give us the right dimensions that we need. Let's go back to the random comp, drag the line comp here, and hide it. Then right click new solid. Let's name this particular to stay organized because we always label our layers. Go to the effects and presets, search for the particular plugin and add this to the solid layer. Now the first thing you need to do is go to render and set acceleration to GPU so to get better previews. Go to emitter, set particles per second to 20, then set to emitter type to box, go to direction, set it to directional, set X rotation to 90 degrees and set Y rotation to 45 degrees. Then velocity, set it to 350. Also, don't forget to set direction spread to 0%. Then go to emitter size, set it to XYZ individual. And expand size of X to say 2000. Let's actually move a bit forward on our timeline so we can see what's going on. Select position and choose this left bottom corner. Then go to particle master. And here set live to 5 seconds, of course you can choose any other value, I'll be choosing 5 seconds, I'll explain why later. Sporical type, set it to sprite colorize, then expand texture, and for the layer select that line comp that we hid. And then remember to click this button here, it's quite important. Then set size to 160, again you don't have to use this value, but yeah, yeah I'll be using this value because it fits well. Go to rotation, set orient to motion to on so the lines face uh, like the way they're moving toward. Then let's go to opacity over life. Go to presets and select this preset. That's done. Next, let's go to set color. Set it random from gradient. Then expand color over life and you also get different presets you're free to choose any color you like I'll be leaving out these two colors because I think they fit well together all right you can adjust the gradient as you like it and that will be enough for your color we go to physics and set gravity to one you don't really have to do this but I just like to add a touch of gravity we can quickly preview what we have created so far and after a quick preview, we are ready to create a loop. So say you have a composition of 10 seconds, like uh, I do right here. You need to go to the exact like middle point, so 5 seconds. And just create a marker to better visualize uh, what you're doing. Then also click B to bring that work area start point. Mm, then go back one frame and create a keyframe for particles per second. All right. Then go one frame forward again to five, 5 second mark and select particle per second to zero. Then select the particle solid layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer and bring the endpoint and adjust it at the marker like that. Exactly 5 seconds. And if we preview this right now, our loop should be exactly perfect. So you can see that it's so seamless, we don't even see like any transition going on. So that's perfect, that's how you create a loop. Now let's create a new solid, the black one for the background, but bring it under the layers. 
Okay, then right click, new adjustment layer. Let's name this one glue because this scene has to have glue because we're creating neon lines. Go to effects and presets, search for glue, add it to the glue adjustment layer. Set glow threshold to 40% and glow radius to 20. Right, then select the glow, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And set glow radius to 100 and glow intensity to 0.6. Glow is an essential effect here that will be given our lines that neon look that we're going after. After a quick preview, let's add a new adjustment layer. Let's name this one noise. We will be adding a noise effect to this adjustment layer. Always like to add noise effect to this type of work, especially because it makes it look super cool. Set amount of noise to 12% and then check use color noise. Now we can preview this once again and our scene is pretty much done. It looks awesome, looks cool and it's extremely customizable and what's important, it's seamless and loopable. So you can actually create a version of this of 10 minutes or one hour and it will be perfectly looping. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.